right, everybody. Welcome back to another, yet another edition of the Nursing School Beer Review. As you can see, we're set up differently today. This is uh, the second installment of our, you know what? I don't know if I can borrow the title from this one. Um, our friends with social distances. So this is the beer that we have today. Um, this is, we're doing this Zoom distance review. So I get to hang out with my buddy and our guest reviewer today, Jason over there waving the can um, and still get to do a beer review. So say hi, Jason. Hello. Get to enjoy some beer with my buddy, Kev. That's right. So this is uh, probably everybody's first time on here um, having you. This is our first time for the Nursing School Beer Review to have you on as a guest reviewer. But you've been a friend of mine for I don't even care to count how long because that's going to make me feel really old. Long time. Uh, long time. And um, dare I just say, brewing buddy, this is the man responsible actually for, for really installing, like instilling a love for beer in, in me. I was kind of a square and I would, I didn't drink beer. I sipped it once when I was 15 and thought it was nasty. So I, would, I stayed away from it until I was like 29, I think. Right. And after climbing, I was like, that's it, man. You got to hit me with something. Hit me with Sam Adams. Uh, something, something different. Which, which at the time I thought was a little much, um, which is funny. And I did not like IPAs for a long time. Until again, this man right here. We eased you into it. That's right. So we have Jason. I'm really excited uh, because I love this man. And I'm really excited for this brew we have, which I've had for a little while now and just was waiting for the right time to do it. Yeah. This is the right yeah. time. So this is a collaboration between Altamont Beer Works and Alvarado Street Brewing. And I showed you the title earlier called friends with social distances mm. you know with everything that and their graphic is awesome right it's got you got altamonts it's like a, uh, a venn diagram right altamont on top all right and right in the middle is where you have the friends with social distances <laughs> right i, I think you can't get you can't get together but no I, concept and idea is in light of everything that's going on I mean, all like genius. I think it's a, it's a, it's a fantastic idea, right? Like the breweries are still working together to do collabs. It, it's just representative of so many things. So, um, yeah. moving right along, this beer uh, brew is a, a double IPA, and um, I'm just gonna, I'll give you the info because it's on the back of the can. <laughs> so they used two row malt for this one, uh, and then the hops we have in the kettle, they used Citra. And then dry hop, they use Citra, Nelson, uh, Sabro, and El Dorado. And every mm -hmm. time I say that, I think of El Dorado. <laughs> El Dorado. I think of it every time. Yeah. So. Yeah. I like Citra. Citra, you... Citra is one that I really like. That's one of my favorite hops. It's got a good uh, a good bite to it. I like that they did this one in the, uh, in the kettle and they dry hopped it with all the others. Uh, I don't know the timing they put all the the different additions in but we'll see how it tastes when it comes out whether it's uh all in the nose or if it's uh you know real bitter we'll see but i'm sure they put more than just uh standard two row in there i'm sure they put some uh some other um like crystal malts or something like that but i don't know we should probably ask uh, i'm excited for it though um ultimate's done a couple different collabs with different breweries i had one from danville uh, just a bit ago with our, our brew club, which was really good. Uh, I can't remember the name of that beer, but I'll, I'll get it to you. But yeah, they're, they've, I like, I like Altamont. They've had a couple good beers. So I'm excited for this one. Nice. Me too. Have, do you know, have we ever, it's not in here, but it's one that I, I didn't recall hearing the name on, but then it's been in several that I've really enjoyed. Have you, or we, have we used Vic's secret before? Uh, no, no, I don't think we have. Uh, but I've, I've got some Vic secret for a brew we can do. I thought it was mostly like a, uh, a lager style hop, but, um, I could be wrong. Uh, last I looked it up, I think Vic secret offered some lemony style, uh, some lemon, lemon fla flavors and smells. Kirk, I, I could be wrong, but that's what I, that's what I read at least. Okay. Yeah. I'll have to look into that. I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure that, um, I've 
see. I feel like the last time I saw. Anyway, we'll we'll figure this one out. Um, but I, I thought that it was definitely in some because I haven't definitely haven't reviewed a lot of, if any, I think maybe one logger. Um, but I know I've had some big secret pop up and some things. Anyway, moving on. You ready to crack this bad boy open? Without further ado, let's get it going. <laughs> All right, let's do this. Bring my glass here. It's kind of a loud one. Got it all over me here. I love you know I, that's been that happens occasionally. Nice color. Mm. Oh, it's got a lot of nose. It smells really good. So I've definitely got I definitely got the hops on the nose for sure. Hmm. I don't know if you call this a, a citra bomb, but it's it's got that citrus mm, grapefruit. Mm, smells like a tropical fruit, you know. You get like out of it from the nose. Mm. Yeah, I mean, I get the, I have the, I can't pinpoint anything precisely, but I have that tropical, um, I'm picking that up, right, that aroma. Good. I like it. It tastes All good. Right. It's got a lot of the good flavors I like. Did you sip it when I wasn't looking? Yeah, I did. I did. I snuck it on in there. You know, uh, dude, quick, dude, to, dude, quick to go. <laughs> Cheers, Brad. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> yeah, I can never wait. Wow. Yeah. It's this good. is it's real mellow on the the malt malt flavor. It's uh how to describe it? It's like I don't know, when you're it's not overpowering, you know, you get some that are just real sweet. This one's this one's pretty mellow and and real imbalance with the hops. The hops aren't super overpowering. They're they're right in right in the middle range, but a lot of good flavor. More flavor than there's definitely not a in no pine, no, no nothing really yeah. not dank, so to speak, you know. It's uh it's definitely tropical fruity in my opinion. I think that's the citra is really where that hop comes through. So yeah, I'm not getting Like a ton of, I don't know if the right word I'm looking for is like not tangible, but it doesn't, I agree with the, 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 the lightness um, or I don't, I don't, I don't want to say light, like weak, but balanced for sure. Mm -hmm. um, mellow in that, yeah, you don't have hops like punching you in the face or like, mm -hmm. like this screaming bitter all over the tongue. But I also don't feel like, I'm drinking a juice either. Some mm -hmm. some beers are like so fruity that uh, I know sometimes I'll you know be drinking with someone or talking with someone that that uh, they won't like it because they feel like it's too fruity. And I definitely don't have that here either. It is I agree. It is really really well balanced. It's drinkable. Eight eight percent, eight percent too. Real that's a that's a creeper. Get a couple of these yeah. sneak up on you. Yeah, you definitely don't feel like you're drinking. I, I would not feel like I'm drinking a heavy beer just off mm -hmm. of, you know, what I've had so far with this. Yeah, for a double, it's uh, it's sneaky. It's real, uh, real, real hidden. It's not, not, al not he heavily alcoholic, you know, where they get real, uh, the higher ABV beers can feel real boozy. This one's not a, yeah. not a boozy beer at all. It's very the, the clarity on this is pretty fantastic too like and maybe 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 it's like normo mm -hmm. for for this style and i've just been drinking a ton of hazies and i think and it's, not, yeah, it's just standard double not a hazy I'm not used to being able to see through my beer recently <laughs> too many Nor uh, new england ipas you've been yeah, you've been man. on that you've been on that hazy train i have been on the hazy train for sure but Oh, this, this really is this is one of my my favorite styles. I'm not a I'm not a super hazy, loving beer kind of guy, but I like a really good, strong, well balanced double IPA, Imperial IPA, 
Uh, one of my favorites though is hazy, but it's not on the super New England style hazy IPAs side. It's um, uh, Chico's uh, um, Imperial Haze is pretty good. It's one of my favorites. I've been drinking a lot right now, but this is right up there with the same kind of style and flavor that's real mellow and subdued and just super drinkable. I can have two, three of these and be real content and not super bitter on the mouth and just you know, like you, when you know you've had a real strong hoppy IPA and it just like lingers and stays, that's not yes. my favorite. Yeah. You know? Yeah. I mean, I, I tend to, well, I'll tend to have that like talk and talk about that too when we do these reviews, um, because that's definitely something that, I mean, I guess sometimes I can, so I don't mind it, I guess if I'm in the mood for it, right? Mm -hmm. You know, sometimes you feel like drinking a one yeah. style or another. Um, and there are definitely sometimes when I do not mind taking that sip and the hop goes pop, you know, and yeah. like catches you, woo, and then you know, and it, it lingers and it remains. Um, but there are other times where, like, this would be one definitely suitable, I think, for summer, right? Something to sip on when it's hot. Mm -hmm. It's not gonna make it feel super heavy. Um, it's an easy drink and double IPA. That's for, for sure. Balance, yeah. mm -hmm. All right, so you have. I'm assuming you, you probably watched. No, you have. You've given me critiques. So I know that you've watched some of my reviews. So the scoring system here are the, uh, I took something that's kind of uh, silly and just, you know, equated that to my number system. So it's a one, a zero, I guess, technically, zero to five. And I, I we do fully catheters. Um, explain, explain the catheter to me, please. What, what, what oh, came up with the catheter? Like, where did it come from or what is it? What'd you decide catheter for your, your, your review, you know, your, your marks? Because th this all kind of started jokingly. I can't remember even if it was <laughs> you and I was talking about, Hey, I want to drink this. And I was like, oh, tell me how it goes. You know, yeah. you know, review this for me. And I was like, yeah. Oh, and then when I sat down to do it, I was like, huh, whatever. And so I set my little camera up and I know it was you, I showed maybe, and I can't remember if I initiated from you or if I was just like, yeah. hey man, I drank this, you know, here. And I sent you the little video. And then little by little, I heard, oh man, you should put this out. So I'm digressing. I came up with <laughs> catheters because it was, I was just trying to be silly. Like, yeah. Cause it doesn't really matter if catheters is attached to it or not. Ultimately, it's the number is still the- All right, one through five. Uh, yeah, so. But okay. yeah, it's a little odd. What are you what are you thinking about this this one? What do you what do you feel? I mean give me one more one more good set. I'll I'll tell you I'm on a four, like a 3.5 to four. I'll tell you why. I it's good and it's definitely drinkable. And the nose is really good in the beginning. It's still kind of there, but I I'm I guess I would like a little more punch. Uh, punch mm -hmm. is in like the the citrus is good, but it could it could really hang in there on the back of the palate a little bit. I think once I get it and it's in, it's it's gone quickly. It keeps me drinking it. I'll be honest with that. I want more of it. So I mean, it's a, it's a good it's a good beer, but I know there's some that just have a little bit more flavor to it. It's good good flavor, but uh, not like over. I mean, I guess you know I'm I'm in a middle rock and a hard place on it. I really like it. It's really good. Can't say it's the very best beer I've ever had. Uh, and I'm not, I'm, I don't, don't want to be a beer snob or anything, but you know, we've had a lot of IPAs, right? So uh, in terms of IPAs, it's certainly drinkable. I'd get it again. Uh, I'm a solid 3.5 and four. So if I was going to take a, your scale of five, uh, I'm like, if it was one out, of, one out of 10, it'd be a 7.5. So it's a three, five, right? If I was okay. to give it a, a solid number it's really good though that's fair and it's well justified i i i, I hear where you're coming from mm -hmm. um i'm getting this <clears throat> little uh, uh, a change in the bitterness from when i first and i know that sometimes right beer kind of develops and evolves as it sits um and I feel like I'm having a little more of a linger than I did before. Yeah. And so in my own head, like, is this just because like, I'm like throwing more layers down on the tongue, you know, like in the mouth, or is it really the evolution of the beer? Um, 
I don't know if you're picking up the same thing. I didn't feel like it sat as heavy on the tongue before. I feel like I have it a little more now. But mm-hmm. I like it. It's good. I don't know. I the the two of the two Altamont beers I've had, this is still a pretty good one. Uh, the other one they did the collab with um I think it was Danville, and that was a that was probably yeah. one of my, my favorite IPAs I had in a while. That was pretty good. I remember that one. And I remember Altamont uh, from that. And the uh that was a good beer. But I do love do love the double IPAs. So what are you thinking? You're not sure. You're on a four? You're uh, no, I actually I see a lot of fives out of you. You're a big five guy. You're like, mm, God, I love the you know, five. Yeah, I mean it's like I really do have to like it to throw a five. I try I yeah. feel try to be stingy on my fives. I know that I've thrown a lot out there. I'm I'm definitely not like a Man, that guy never gives fives, you know? <laughs> um, or it's like impossible to get a perfect score. Because I, I try to, I don't know, there's, I'm. I am liking this beer. Let's get this straight right now. I am liking it. This thing is almost gone. So it's, it's easy drinking and really flavorful still. So, I, I mean, it's a, it's a good IPA. If I had four of these sitting in the fridge and one of those to goes, it'd be gone and, you know couple days you know <laughs> i love the beer i'm gonna stop trying to be a perfectionist on on nailing this but absolutely i'm gonna go with the solid because i i'm just gonna go with a 4.5 um because yeah it is super drinkable again like we said right for a double um eight percent you you almost don't know that it's eight percent it mm-hmm. definitely it's not like bitter and and so for the people that don't like the um that super heavy feeling. I think that you would appreciate this and I think you would like it. Um, again, it's also one that's good. I think would be good for like, um, kind of in more of a hot, like in kind of the summer, it could still be relaxing like on a warm day. I wouldn't if, if I was going to have a non hazy style IPA, but I wanted that, you know, that new England IPA style flavor, this is a lot of that flavor, but just not in a super hazy beer. So then that's what I, I, I don't know why I'm, I'm about the clear, but that's, that's what I like. So, and it's got a lot of the same flavors. I compare the flavor profile to kind of like the new England, new England style. I, I don't know if they like, they favor more of the, the citruses, but the ones that I've had have been very citrusy. And this is along, along the same lines. Nice. Well, I think it's safe to say that we both have liked this beer. Um, <laughs> I have been, um, wrapping up most episodes with some kind of a trivia or interesting fact, trying to kind of get some, some involvement, keep things addition, an, an additional level of interesting. Um, so the question I'm going to throw out, I, I was looking at some wacky laws that, that, are, that are still in existence. And in the state of Kentucky, what can happen to a person, according to this law, who sends a gift of beer to anyone in Kentucky, or maybe, maybe, because it doesn't. So maybe it's it's the way it's phrased: a person who sends a gift of beer to anyone in Kentucky, what can happen to them, according to this probably out probably outdated law? I don't know. A gift. A person who sends a gift of beer to anyone in Kentucky is subject to something. Mm, they get the keys of the city. <laughs> you have a train of thought you are not the person that wrote this law mm-hmm. so if you want to hit google and throw it in if anyone else wants to do the same but if you all just want to kind of go on your way that's totally fine too um with that i say that we can sign off because i mean we kind of i don't even i can't see the counter on this now but we'll probably talk. i'm gonna i'm gonna finish it oh look mm-hmm. at that you are back to my, myself, my friend. I beat you. <laughs> All right. Um, yeah. <laughs> if, if anyone is still watching at this point, and I may make a suggestion, hit like, hit subscribe, hit the notifications, throw Smash in a it. comment. Um, what you like. What you hit the uh, like. Hit the like. Yeah. Hit the like button. I like it. What you like. What you don't like. Um, yeah. Let us know what's up. Or don't. Either way, it's fine. <laughs> I suppose I'm not going to, right. 
beat anyone down. Make, make it a better channel. Make some suggestions, right? Put it in there. Lord knows this guy does. Yeah. Well, you know, I want to make you the best you can be, right? That's right. Keep me sharp. Keep me on my toes. I already got things I'm working on. Um, I appreciate it. All right, buddy. Well, until next time, everybody out there, stay safe and cheers. Thanks for having me, Kev.